Hi everyone, this is CPU Kabuto, and welcome back to more Shovel Knight. Last time we defeated the Purple Knight in the flying, in the flying machine. Got another, got, did we get another magic upgrade? We expanded our life bar to the maximum level, and we got probably the most awesome gear of all, the propeller dagger, as well as the conjurer's coat. As previously stated, I will be um, using this for this level and this level only. Mainly because I know what's coming up ahead in the next few levels and I definitely want that item mail. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. But, I finally get to test this stuff out. So, without further ado, let's enter the Tower of Fate. First of all, this music, I'll let you listen. Dang it, it just sounds so dang triumphant. I can't be the only one who thinks that. Also, you may notice something. We have enemies from both the Lost City and the Clockwork Tower here. The Tower of Fate, essentially, is a amalgamation of all the areas, with different stage gimmicks returning for different... in all different sorts of areas, all, mil all melding with each other. Which I think is a cool idea because this is all of the knights' hideouts. Again, with the propeller dagger, it can annihilate most platforming puzzles, as well as save your But I am sure I'll have plenty of opportunities to show it saving me, much as such as that. It, it's so good, it pauses your forward momentum. I mean, it gives you a sudden boost of... One jump cut later and we're back. So, what I was saying, basically it slows, the, it stops all downward movement and just gives you a air boost. It's used, you can use it to clear gaps that you normally definitely could not clear. Also, you can infinitely jump up against walls. Also, I uh, find it incredibly useful in this area in particular since, like the flying machine, you have a lot of pits that aren't necessarily bottomless but send you down a level. This actually reminds me of a stage in like the Buzz Meg Mega Man, Mega Man 2. Ah, I might as well just start over and let me make it. So what you're supposed to do is bounce off these rats. And the parkour challenges in this are no joke, it's pretty intense. What I like to do, alright, next we have a Dark Griffin. I think this is awesome. This pretty much sums up all of Pride Marquee in one awesome art song. Also, I would like just to, I would just like to note that there is acid rain pouring down and it looks amazing. So basically, it just takes more hits and really nothing else has changed about it. It's just a tougher version, plus it's a recolor of the normal Griffin. Rip off. I, I, um, I think I actually did put that in post. I'm glad I, I actually did use the um, Conjurer's Coat for this, although I definitely also recommend bringing along some Icor of um, Renewal, since you will be running out of health a lot. Next, we have some area that, an area that um, represents Plague Knight, with one of his minions bouncing around throwing potions as well as dust blocks, which I believe we saw first in actually Spectre Knight stage. But I'm sure they're they were prominently shown in Nope! <laughs> they are prominently shown in Spectre Knight in Plague Knight stage. Anyway, I think you know how that works. I'll cut back to where I died. A while later I finally get past the screen and get to our next checkpoint. Our first checkpoint, rather. And I... And, hey, we got some new mechanics. These walls move up and down slowly, and they'll crush you. You would not believe how many times this has actually killed me. A lot. There was a lot of death. More or less, you just have to keep up. And, um, when there's, um, stamping in the wall, like that, that means that it'll crush you if you uh, stay on it 
But if it doesn't, then you're safe, essentially. Which I think is kind of cool, and the reward to for paying attention is pretty central for gameplay. You can appreciate it. Just bounce off this bubble, and now we've got to run and pick up that dirt, and then wait some more. Yeah, there's a lot of waiting, which leads to impatience, which leads to rushing, which leads to death. Especially this part, I guess. Hey, not the biggest fan of this part. So it moves up and down, but then you got these spikes, and you're like, okay. But then you find this. Oh, it's a music sheet. I always move out on the spikes too early. And then I don't realize I can't do that, and I have to go back. Just kind of, it just seems kind of dumb to me. I suppose it's not too long that I need to jump cut. Also, oh my goodness, the backgrounds are beautiful. I know, I know, we're just higher up and we're seeing the effects of the um, rain on the um, towers, but my goodness, does that spread art look beautiful? I probably could go across with a propeller dagger. Right? I think I've learned my lesson on pretty and I just want to do what they intended me to. And we go I suppose that was pretty repetitive and maybe I should have cut that out, but I'm sticking with it. So basically there are conveniently uh, shaped divots when you think about if the if the enchantress really wanted me dead, um, wouldn't she just make these insta kill pits um, insta kill? Like squash me no matter what, and they don't give me a way through. Oh, you actually have to jump. Oh, how silly of me! I thought that the level design didn't require me to do anything. It required me to go on one path. Yeah, I don't care for this puzzle too much. However, we do get a ground carrot. Not quite as good as wall chicken, but I'll take it. And we have more crushing pillars. However, actually, I should just say we have another crushing pillar. We have two. We have two green gold armors. And unfortunately, I missed my dynamo mail. Only the first pillar can actually crush you. The rest are gall merciful, as seen by again stamping on the floor, which I think is a cool touch. Me like just beat him with charge handle. That's the one thing that the charge handle is actually good at. Uh, you know, tough enemies when you don't have the dynamo mail. Oh no no oh, no 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 no! No! Okay, I I'm, I died on the same screen, so I won't cut it out. Also, I gotta say, this level is hard, in that, um, second jump cut. <laughs> Alone, I died, like, three times. Partially because of my own impatience, and because of just hard level design. Which I'm not saying it's bad, because it's hard. No, no, I, far from it. I mean, apart, apart for some whole crap moments, like, um, the uh, previously mentioned room, I actually quite enjoy this level. However, I think it's outdone by, um, the later Tower of Fate level that we're we'll be playing next episode. So, we go up here, and we actually... Oh, I'm, oh my goodness, I was too busy talking that I forgot to mention these guys. Liquid... Liquid Samurais. Basically, as you saw, they run at you. They hide out on ceilings, and when you come near them, they run at you. Also, we... We see that they can, um, dash. Which means they can go over one little pit, one white pit. Also, the Conjurer's Coat is much better for this level, if only because of the magic regen boost. I have no idea how you're supposed to do that without the, um, cut without the propeller dagger. We have more Explodatorium stuff, as well as a different variety of the Liquid Samurai. We have Liquid Samurai Snipers, as I call them. Although I like alliteration, as my titles would have to believe. So I'm gonna call them Soda Samurais, because soda is the only thing that I can think of that's a liquid that starts with the letter S C. I I have full health. I had full health. And I it. Also, Wall Chicken. I, I forgot to mention it when it happened. R.P. Wall Chicken. Haha, <laughs> you died because you stepped, stepped on spikes. Also, you can use the face lock down here. 
Also, also, with more. Also, don't get that. That's a bomb. Another upside to the um, Conjurer's Coat is more uses of the face locket, which is always nice. Extra invulnerability is always enjoyed, as well as a panic button for platforming. And this pla and this section is dark. You're probably having, oh no, I can't see where I'm going, and enemies do bullcrap that I couldn't do if I was in the same position. Actually, not so. I quite like this silhouette. Also, I think this is kind of a jerkish move. They hide one of the music sheets in the pit. So, then again, it's one of the easier ones to get. Also, that throwing anchor um, gold armor is just there to give you trouble. My, personally, I just like to blast right past them. Uh, do we? Blast right past them and just outrun them so you don't actually have to fight them. Just go through here. Oh, I, I forgot I need to show mechanics! We notice that... Oh my goodness! The rain isn't falling on this space, but it's falling down here! That means you can walk through the wall! Not through the wall. Behind the wall. Behind the wall. You can walk behind the wall! Which is cool. And then here you jump through the wall and you're like, Oh my goodness! I thought this was a platform! Basically, any place you can see rain falling, that's that's good. Any place you don't see it, that's bad. Alright, how far does it send me back? Yeah, I'll be jump coming. See ya, guys. And we're back. We already killed the annoying wind guy. So, we're in the ledge again. Also, I just realized that darkness mechanic was also from... Actually... Yeah, the darkness mechanic was also from the lich yard, so hooray, more references. And... I think you might know who we're fighting today. Shovel Knight, stop your meddling and turn back now. This is your last chance. I'll reach her, Black Knight, even if you have... Even if I have to go through you. Oh crap, it's the Enchantress! Black Knight, are you guarding my tower? Have you finally decided to join us? You may kneel and pledge your loyalty now. For the last time, I answer to no one. Very well. Is it time to taste of the power you spurned? Holy crap, he's good! She's gonna kill Black Knight! But no. Oh no. I want you to stay away! Instead of being dead! Here is... Do you think? Yeah, he's ultra-charged! When you thought that Black Knight was kind of lame and, oh, he's just you. No, he is super you. He's a, um, he's a missile, he's a magic missile shooting, shovel dropping, uh, medio casting, freaking flying version of you. I love his boss music, as well as the concept alone. He is a super awesome creation. Also, I should be, probably be using my relics more, considering, you know, that's the gimmick of the armor you're wearing! Okay, as most flying enemies go, the throwing anchor is pretty much his kryptonite. Watch out for his meteor attack. I know it's not called that, but dang it, I actually lost. I guess I... Maybe that just maybe that's a testament to half defense but better magic, or maybe that's just a testament to me sucking. Probably the latter. Any attempts after this, I'm pretty sure I just showed off everything he has to offer. Ah, except for that. Yeah, I want to show something off of this. If you uh, try to, won't let me demonstrate my point. I guess this is a good opportunity to let you listen to music. He's a 
attack pattern is pretty predictable. When he, sh as soon as he shovel drops, he'll um, immediately go into a uh, into the into the flying stage. I'm pretty sure. It yeah, I'm pretty sure this all is in a formula. So yeah, I, I wanted to show that you can that he'll actually try to hit those back at you. If you try to hit them back at him and you can have like a little game of Ganondorf um, style tennis. No 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 Well, I am certainly not going to shirt the sheer convenience of this. Yeah, boy! Heh, <laughs> full health. <laughs> his dirt attack... His attacks are dangerous if not dealt with quickly. And even if you do, it's still hard to beat him. Especially if you waste your I-cores like I might have. Oops. That's why I don't quite like using I-cores, even though I know I should use them. And I was like, this is what you've been saving them for, but no, I need to save them. Oh. <laughs> it also gives you a brief invulnerability, which is always nice. I wish I could, like, take him out with something obscure like the mobile gear. There, finally beat him. I, I think he got struck by a meteor. Is that supposed to happen? Or maybe it was just, maybe it just exploded in the air because of the boss sending. That's probably it. This has gone far enough. Whatever you've been trying to do, you can't reach her. <coughs> uh, you may be right. She may already <coughs> be lost. But I can't let go of hope. By now, you surely, surely you <coughs> see who I'm trying to save. I do. Do you know a way to bring her back? I haven't tried anything beyond words. Her magic is so powerful, I didn't have the courage. Go! Just don't hurt her. You'll have to answer to me. And so the way is open to us. To the Tower of Fate. The inside this time. However, that's for next episode. Because I'm a jerk like that, and I gotta stretch out this content somehow. <laughs> Anyway, you know the deal. Let's just go and cash in our music sheets. Whoa, you have two music sheets. Magnificent. I'll take 500 gold for each. Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found the end of days. You know, it turns out you, reading maps was more fun when we had our freedom. Now that you have music sheet, yeah, I do. You know, I'll, I'll do that. Play me a song. Just because I love this music so much. The, the gastronomer has no more stuff to give us but the magicist. Oh, that's a bit steep there. However, what is it steep? Is another armor that I'm going to be wearing for the next episode. Though I probably should be wearing the dynamo mail for what's coming up. I might want to do this. For 3,000 gold, we can get the final guard, which I've already explained what it does, but basically it just cuts how much damage. It just cuts how much gold you leave behind when you fall in battle. Not exactly the most useful, but considering that I'm trying to get an all magic, get the most magic, yeah, I think I'll get that. Also, I like the way it makes you look. Hmm. Well, that was over before I expected it to. Be. Well, anyway, I guess that wraps it up. So, um, next time on Shovel Knight, we'll be ascending the Tower of Fate. See you guys!